Hello guys. Let's say you have a fancy wise thermostat, which I have two of them, uh, one for first floor and one for second floor in my house. Really like them. They're nice thermostats. Uh, love being able to look at them remotely just to make sure things are going okay in the house and temperature is what I want it to be. Um, I have a couple of videos out there on how to connect those zone, those um, thermostats to a two wire boiler setup that use the uh, zone valves. Um, what if you have a different setup? Like I have this nice shiny new boiler back here. It doesn't have in switches. It has a zone controller now that turns on and off this set of pumps directly. Um, so your thermostat signal is received from here. Now, typically no problem, but what you're going to run into on this, if you try to power your wise thermostat separately, connecting your like 24 volt AC adapter, external AC adapter to the C and to the uh, RC, is this also provides power on at least one leg going up to the thermostat, they interfere with each other. My thermostat was reading 68 one second, 74 the other second, and my boiler would short cycle. It would just constantly go on and off and on and off, and my temperature was wildly erratic. How do you fix that? How do you wire it for one of these zone controllers? Well, let me flip you around and, and show you what you can look for and how you can fix that, and it should be very easy. All right, if you open up your zone valve or zone controller, what you're going to see is your thermostat's label TSTAT 1 through 4 or 5 or whatever, you know. Look at the labels right there. The ones I'm interested in are C, R, and W. On your standard two-wire setup, like I already have a video out there for, R and W go up to... R, H, and W on the thermostat. There is no C on the old setup. So if you have enough wires going up, you know, four wires, six wires, something like that, grab one of your wires, plug it in to the C. And then when you go upstairs, I'll show you to or wherever your um, thermostat is, I'll show you what you do on that end. Alrighty, here we are at the other end, and you'll see my wire for RH, which was red downstairs. Don't ignore ignore the colors. Uh, mine are not standard. <laughs> I just went with what was there. W or W1 goes to that W downstairs. The new wire from C downstairs goes into your C. And then you just take a little piece of wire and jumper from RC to RH. So those are connected. When you plug your thermostat back in, as soon as I can get it stuck on properly, looky there, it boots up and it will read correctly. Actually, I'm going to drop the temperature down a couple of degrees because it's really hot in here from the way it was short cycling. Um, that's all there is to it. So now you've got, you eliminate the AC adapter that you had to use, which probably means there were wires like running back behind your, your plate here. And it works exactly like it's supposed to. The rest of the setup is exactly the same. If you watched the previous videos, you set it up exactly the same. Um, you, you may be able to actually go through properly and tell it you've got a C and stuff like that now, but um, uh, if you had to take an existing setup and change it over, it works. Whew, been running up and down the stairs, so I'm kind of ho uh, hot. I hope you got something out of that, though. Uh, it was interesting for me to discover that. When I learned this, I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to get rid of my wise thermostats. I like those things. And I started looking at the zone controller and realized it had a C wire. And I'm like, you know what? 
And after looking at the, the instructions for that, that showed you connecting RC and RH together with a jumper, I'm like, you know, I bet all I've got to do is plug the C wire in downstairs, plug the corresponding wire in upstairs, and then jumper it over, and it would work exactly like it is with no changes, and sure enough, it does. Now it's no longer short cycling. It reads temperatures properly and all that. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. Just something I learned and I wanted to share real quick. Leave me a comment if it helped. And if not, well, we tried. <laughs> Thanks. A little bit of bonus footage here. If you guys are setting one of these wise thermostats up for the very first time on a zone controller without migrating from the old style boiler with the... Uh, um, zone valves and all that stuff to a new style with a zone controller then basically you do the same thing um, your wires on your thermostat you would connect your C wire of course your W1 your RH and then jumper that over to RC uh, and then down at the boiler side on the, the um, zone controller you just connect in your C your R and your W. Uh, I believe that's what they were, just as I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then when you do the uh, wires setup, basically you're going to get to the point where it says what wires are connected, and you tell it you have the W, the C, the R, H, and the RC. Now it's going to error on you and tell you to correct your wiring, uh, but there's a spot where you can choose skip. And if you skip, then it will continue on with the setup as normal. And if you go back and watch one of my videos um, where I set up the Wise thermostat on a system with no C wire, uh, look over the second one where I installed this the second time around. I actually get a chance to show the app selections uh, and show that step in there. So that might help you out as well. Uh, anyway, again, just a little bonus footage here for you. I hope you got something out of this and hope this is helpful to you. Talk to you later.